Hey there friends, on today's quick tech tutorial video, we are going to be factory resetting this Netgear Nighthawk CM1200. Super easy, let's do it right now. Okay, so with these routers, you basically just need one thing for the factory reset, and that is some sort of a sharp object to enable that reset button to be pressed. We'll show you where that's at in a second. I'm actually using this SIM card remover tool that came with my phone. If you need one of these tools, I'll put links in the description box below. All right, that being said, basically we've got our Nighthawk CM1200. This is a modem router combo from Netgear and we have it plugged into the wall. No internet connection is required to do these factory resets, but we do need to turn it on. So on the back, you'll find that little on off button. Let's make sure it's turned on. And then we do need to make sure the lights light up. This will go through that kind of on cycle. And once we have a steady green light here, we know we are ready for the factory reset. So we'll turn this around onto the back. And basically what we're looking for is going to be right up here at the top. You can see it's a little reset button that's inside this hole. And they make it actually difficult because they don't want you accidentally factory resetting this. So what we need to do is take our little SIM card key. I'm gonna push it in here. Basically what we're gonna do is just push and hold. I'm gonna hold for roughly 10 seconds. And basically this is going to fully cycle. Now I've flipped this around just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. I'm pushing and holding the button. After 10 seconds, basically we can see that the lights begin to flash like this. That's when we know we can release the button from the back. And then this is going to cycle back through its light system. And then once we have that steady green light again, we will know that this has been fully factory reset. Okay, once you see those power lights, obviously it's cycling and then you see the steady green light. This has now been factory reset. The one last thing that needs to be done is obviously you need to make sure you have the, your default passwords. You'll usually find those on the very bottom of this specific uh, router and modem. You can use those to then reset this to another password if needed or simply get rid of it if that's what you're looking to do or sell it. All right, friends, hope this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Stay tuned. We're actually making a whole bunch more tutorial videos like this for you to make your life easier. Subscribe, and we will see you again on the next one.